how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day and that you're with people that really make you smile. Give them a hug. And if you have a dog or a cat, give them a hug too. You know, I know a lot of people lie. And I'm not going to comment on that subject really but I do want to comment on lying about your health status to people who are around you because it can make a difference some diseases infect others and some people might be concerned that they don't want to become ill and I saw this on television well no I saw this as a video and I just want to know what you think check up you know, so everything is G O O D. No, okay, you can no spell. E D. Okay. I'm good A F. Okay. Everything is dope. Pilot okay. my age and you show, hey, we go for these checkups. Mm -hmm. have to, so they can check if you're still alive. So that's that's your hit? Uh, yeah, that's my hit. Okay. So everything is, I just said, everything okay. is G O O D. You I know, expect no more e from you. You're a I'm DJ. I thought no. you were going to be like, I'm not G O O D no, or something. I'm great. Everything is super. Everything is okay, super. Okay, and you're heavy? Okay, so my heavy is, right, don't you hate it when you go for these medical checkups and then mm -hmm. when they ask you for your HIV status? Oh, when else did you do the yes, hanky exactly. So, and I mean, the thing about me is, I think when, when I start lying, my voice starts shooting up. I start using the higher decibels. So they like, like how? Hey, Mr. Masi Mr. Masina, so... You know, when last did you check your, your status? Yo, Amanga, Apumela. Ish, yes, booty, em. Yes, Nila, last week, but then, Ish, Beba, Fadile. And then, I have opposite, but in Gumuye. And then, Nati, Baba, I'm going to veins. So, I'm going to put it in my earbuds. I'm going to test for E. COVID. And then, you know, like, because I just. But what did she do? Lying and lying about everything. And then, what did she do? She, you know, she was like, ah, but it says here you tested, you know, two weeks ago. I just wanted to know, was it two years, three years, four years? And then I was like, um, it's in one. Oh, yeah, no, nah, okay, yeah, all right. Nah, nah, nah. But, yo, dude, it, it is heavy. Like when you ask about How is that your heavy, HIV dude? Stuff, I think it's hilarious. No, when you get asked about your HIV stuff, you, your or when you just did that thing, by the you way. Lie. Yeah. Am I the only one that lies? You know, I don't lie. I don't lie. I don't lie. You guys know you lie. No. Share your heavies <laughs> and your hits with us. You know, on uh, Instagram and Twitter, it's heavy hitters underscore ZA. Don't forget the hashtag. It's not that deep. Well, I don't know. I, I just was really stunned that he was lying about his HIV status. So what do you think about that? I think that, you know, getting your HIV test done is important, especially this man goes out clubbing, which means he's, you know, sexually active with strangers, probably. And I couldn't understand his language. He is from, uh, this is a station in Africa. I believe. And so he has a lot of concerns about HIV. But I couldn't understand whether he was tested, wasn't tested, just is lying that he was tested, but never has been tested, or what's going on? What's with this lying about your HIV test? So, very concerning. And I think I need some feedback from people out there. What is it about the HIV test that has you 
if you do lying about HIV tests? And are you checking with potential partners to ensure they are HIV negative and getting tested regularly and using condoms? Hmm, I don't know. This really concerned me. What about you? Please like and subscribe, comment and share. And get back to me. I didn't understand this. Lying about HIV tests. Talk to you later. Bye.